Look, I know this is unoriginal. Every man pretentious enough to become a poet eventually writes about his cock. Some cloak it in multisyllabic words and intentional obfuscation. The underground poets, the punk poets, the poetry outlaws, the anti-academic poets, whatever the fuck we're called, we just write about it openly. We think it will help us get laid. It usually doesn't. <laughs> Some call it gay to measure your cock, but I view it as an assessment of your net worth. <laughs> when, women lie when they say it doesn't matter. Just mention the word micropenis and hear the fucking giggles. <laughs> I heard some giggles right there, so yeah, I guess it's true, right? Alright, that's why I put the tape measure to the side. And I multiply the diameter by 3.14159. <laughs> it feeds my ego on the internet forums, more so than if I measured it with the tape measure wrapped around. Still, the internet forums don't bring in the women, they just bring in the gays. They're only useful during droughts. <laughs> Look, I'm well aware of myself, and I am my harshest critic. You're right when you call me an asshole. You're right when you call me a nerd. You're right when you call me a loser. You're right when you call me pretentious. You're right when you say I've exaggerated my size. But you're still in bed with me, so I really don't care about all that. <laughs> when I was 15, I lamented Jim Morrison in my bedroom, thinking of all the schoolgirls in J. Crew, their high heels from Bergdorf Goodman, stepping over me, digging in. It happened once, the blue dress. They forced my head between their thighs, and stained the alligator on my oversized Lacoste polo with their sticky dew. <laughs> bedroom door was locked. Devo was on the stereo. Buttered beauties of the Negroid North, come spread your glossy tallow on me! <laughs> now, at 30, I still lament Jim Morrison, thinking of the folly that is our biological imperative. It almost happened once, the sunglasses and the thank God it's a minus sign, thinking about how we are no more than animals, with bigger brains, big enough to be mindful of our limitations, not quite large enough to transcend them. Thank you. What? If you like this poem, it was on Horror Sleeves Trash. It's a publication out of Australia that uh, Ben John Smith does. He does some good stuff. HorrorSleevesTrash.com. I'm kind of a trash writer or sleeves writer. Uh, <laughs> my name is Alfonso Colesmoner. You're not going to remember that. You're not going to be able to spell that. Uh, so, if you want to follow me, my Twitter handle is BookCardPusher. I, in a former life, was a librarian, so uh, that's where I got these, uh, incredible, this incredible physique. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Wow.